This is Amanda. Amanda calling in. Yes, absolutely. I'm right here, officer. A recording session is usually generally between one to four hours long, but it depends what you're recording. I mean, there's so many different types of recording. I mean, you've got video games, you've got animation, both original and dubbed. You've got commercial copy, you've got narration. I mean, there's all different types of voiceover work to be had. But usually you'll go and you'll be booked for two hours or a four hour session. When you're recording original track for, uh, for an animation, you don't have to worry about other than, you know, anything other than the acting. When you're dubbing, the image is already there, so you can't just do whatever you want. You can't do it at whatever level you want. You have to sort of match the emotional level that was the original performance. And they usually give you a, a guide to help you into it. It's a three beep thing to give you the timing. So you, you hear in your headphones as you're recording, beep, beep, beep. And then you're, you're to start speaking on the fourth imaginary beep in your head, and it sort of sets up timing. So you've got this thing beeping in your ear and you're watching and you're trying to, and you're making sure you know the line or that you can sort of, you know, look down with your eyes, but, but then not with your mouth because then you don't want it to change the position yeah. on the mic. It's a, it's, a, it's a real juggling act. Oftentimes we have to record in a booth by ourselves and they cut everything together later. I, I like having other people in the room. Yeah. You get to react off of them and that's part yeah. of the acting too. When you're doing mm -hmm. something like a dubbed show, it's just too difficult to try to match all the timing and the mouth flaps for every single role. So they just don't have the luxury of bringing in the full cast to record. So for mm -hmm. a dubbed series like an anime, they'll bring you in and you'll have a two to four hour session and you get through yeah. as many episodes as you can. <laughs> Video game sessions can be among the most grueling. Working on camera, you get your script in advance, you get to, you know, you maybe have a table read, you know, you get to really sort of work things out. Most voiceover, you show up on the day, you haven't seen the script, mm -hmm. and they may give you a little breakdown of what's going on, show you some, you know, some artwork, uh, give you a little background of what kind of game it is, what the story is, and you're in, and you're going. You've got to make your choices really fast. You've got to work fast, you've got to pull you know, stuff from the script. As you go, you don't have the, the luxury of time. And it's up to, to the director to give you the context when you need context. It's also become very cinematic, video games. The acting is not as over, over the top as it used to be. And they're looking for more real performances. So they, they've been taking more and more time to create those, those real performances for video games.